Hey creatives, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this daisy set. I'm not going to be showing the whole set in one video, but in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to do the shorts. I don't think I'll be doing the specific top because I want to do like more of a bralette style because that's how, if I do the top that's pictured, then I got to do multiple because I got to show how to increase from multiple sizes. And that's not really something I'm interested in right now because it'll take so long and so much of my material. So for this piece, I'm using my second daisy motif, but I'm only using the daisy portion. And instead of doing the chain 8, then increasing, we're going to do double crochet 16. I forgot the most important thing, materials. So you're going to need your inner, inner flower color, your petal color, then you need your motif color. I'm using weight 4 yarn and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and you also need your scissors but you already know that. Okay so to make our flower we're going to make a magic ring. I have a video on that. We're going to chain one and now we're going to double crochet 16. So we're going to place 16 double crochets in this ring. And I'll meet you once I have my 16 double crochets completed. Okay, so I have my 16 double crochets done. I got ahead of myself and finished it off. But once you're done, you're just going to want to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. I'm just going to pull my yarn through. And now we can move on to the petals. So like I said, I'm not really going to go into detail about this because I already have a video on it. But I did want to show you how I did that because it's different than the video. I'll have my video linked in the eye, somewhere on screen, at any point in this video. So yeah, I'm just going to do my foundations, then I'm going to do my chains. So I have a total of... I'm going to do a total of eight petals, and then I'll meet you for the motif part, because that is different than the video. Okay, so I went ahead and made my flowers off camera. For a small, medium, and large with stretch, you do a total of 12 flowers. And for a large, an extra large, and possibly an extra, extra large with stretch, you would do a total of 16 flowers. All right, so... Now it's 16 plus one because one of them is gonna be used for the top, but yeah. But I already went, I already got ahead of myself. Hold on, let me move all this out the way because baby, you can't even see. But I got ahead of myself and I did this already to test out how I'm gonna connect my motifs. So that's what I'm about to show y'all guys now how to connect the motifs. I'm gonna show you how to make one, then I'm gonna show you how to connect it to the rest because we're gonna have this as one continuous pattern. And it's going to be 8 by 2. So in total you have 16. Two rows of 8 equals 16. Okay, and the reason we're only doing this like in one continuous thing. And we're only using 16 because by being chained, it has stretch to it. So it should be a one size fits most outfit. Okay, so to connect them, we're going to get our flower. You can pick any flower you want to. They're all the same thing. We're going to insert our hook into the top of a petal we're going to chain one or just going to attach your yarn however you do that and then we're going to place a single crochet in that top petal now we're going to chain seven we're going to extend it half double crochet two petals together or you could do a double crochet two together I prefer to do the extended double crochet and then treble crochet then we're going to chain seven again and single crochet to the top of your petal now we're going to chain 13 And we're going to single crochet to the top of our next petal. And now we're going to repeat what we did here. So you're going to have this done 
a total of four times. This is one, then it's gonna be two, then it's gonna be three, and then we're gonna do it again for four. So you should have four corner spaces and you should have a total of eight of these middle space stitches. So again, we're gonna chain seven. We're gonna do an extended double crochet here. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to treble crochet this side. We're going to chain seven again. We're going to single crochet to the top. Now we're going to chain 13. I'm going to single crochet there. I'm just going to want to finish this until you reach the end and I want to show you what that looks like. Okay, so once you get to the very end of your um, petals, you should end off with a chain 13. And all we're going to do is slip stitch to the top of that single crochet. And here you will cut off your yarn, but this is what your square should look like. You have your corners and then you have your mid sections. And it's really cute and it's going to be really easy to connect. So for the next part, I'm going to show you guys how to connect it to the base. Okay, so since I had this done, once you have your first square, that's that. When you come in with your second square, depending on where you want it to be connected, you can either work sides, then connect it, or start it off connecting it, then finish your sides. What I did for this piece, I did three of the sides minus the chain 13 because we're going to connect it here so as you can see right here we have our point where all four squares are connected and this is connected in the same stitch this space will be right here so I'm going to show you guys how to do that and then I'm going to show you how to do work it at the corner and I'm going to show you how to connect the middles so since for the corner we normally have a chain 13 we're going to break that down so it'll be a chain 6 plus 1 plus a chain 6 and it gives us our 13 so let me show you what I mean that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 our plus 1 will be this space right here and that's us connecting it so this will equal our 7th stitch and just gonna insert your hook into where they're connected pull through Now we're gonna do our last six because we did six plus one plus six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that equals thirteen. Now we're gonna single crochet to the top of that petal. Now at this point you will be doing a chain seven, which is broken down three plus one plus three. So we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. This will be our one connecting it to this space and I'm going to chain three and now we're going to do our extended double crochet together with our treble crochet and now you're going to do the same thing again your three plus one plus three so one two three this is our plus one then one, two, three to end it. And we're going to single crochet to the top of our next petal. So now we're on our last stitch, and this will be a chain 13. But remember, broken down is six plus one plus six. So let's do our six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one, plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, we're going to end with a slip stitch right here. And now, we can cut this off. You can leave your tail as long or as short as you want. But it's up to you to weave it in at whatever point you want to. But now you see we have that connected. Oops, sorry for shaking that up. But now you see we have this connected and it's going to look exactly like this. So what you're going to do is continue this. You're going to have your row... You're going to have two 
Oh, uh, look, yeah, two rows by eight columns. You're gonna have two by eight. Yeah, two by eight. So, once you have your completed two by eight, then I will meet you back to show you what we'll do from that point. I'm gonna show you how to connect it all together. All right, y'all, so here we are now. I have 15 squares done. So, if you're doing the large, extra large, or extra extra large you do 15 squares and leave one blank if you are doing the small medium and large you will do 11 squares and then leave one blank because this will be the square that we use to connect this this and this okay so what you want to do is fold your piece so that your missing square is in the middle. So this is the middle. We have a row and then we have half a row. A row, half row, row, half row. Then we have this, which is the middle. And this will be our front and back. So we're gonna connect it here and we're also gonna connect it to this side to form the shorts. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay, so since we have to do four points of contact, one, two, three, and then four, we are gonna start this piece off in a corner so we're gonna do our chain six to, I mean we're gonna do a single crochet on top and then chain six to start and then attach it and work our way around so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show y'all like how to start it off I'm not gonna show y'all how to attach it because I already showed that part earlier in the video and then I'm gonna show you how to attach it to form the crotch so one Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna attach it to a corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, attach it to this corner. If you need like this part explained in depth, you can message me on any of my social medias and I will give you a walkthrough of it if it's really necessary. I'm going to finish connecting this around and I'm going to come back for the crotch. Okay, so now we're where we want to be. You finished off this corner space and you should only have to do your chain 7, work them together, then chain 7. But in our case, our chain 3, connect, chain 3, then attach them together, chain 3, connect, then chain 3 and slip stitch to end. So, if you've done a total of 16 squares once you fold it in half you should have the middle row two full rows one two and then you should have half rows if you did 12 you should have two full rows on the side ignoring this all together but you should have this one strip that's in the middle so to connect that after you have your chain six and single crochet to the top of the petal Make sure you have your wrong sides together and your right sides out. You're going to chain three. Attach your yarn however you want to, to this middle space. Chain three. We're going to do extended double crochet. So we're just going to go through one, go through two. Now we're going to do a treble crochet over here. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. We're gonna chain three. We're gonna single crochet to this second chain seven space. We're gonna chain three. And we're gonna slip stitch to end. Cut off this yarn, leave a tail however you want to. You'll be the one weaving it in. Gonna close this out. And now you have your crotch area done, if you can see that. So this will be our crotch section. We have our legs. And now we're going to add some rows for the legs and then we're going to do our waistband and our drawstring. Then your shorts will be completely done. 
Okay, so yeah, like I said, I was gonna do one leg off screen. I did that. So let me show y'all to do the second leg. What you wanna do is open your piece up. And we're gonna start right here at the crotch. You can choose any one of these stitches to work in. But what I'm gonna do is attach my yarn in the gap. I'm gonna chain one. And then I'm gonna place a double crochet here. Now I'm going to chain four. And wherever you're at a corner, whenever you're at a corner space, you're gonna place a double crochet in the gap. Chain four. Place a double crochet in the stitch space you use to connect your corners. Chain four. And then place a double crochet in the gap. And you're just gonna keep on doing this chain four. Place a double crochet in the gap. Then chain four, double crochet in the gap. Chain four, when you're at a corner space, double crochet in the gap. Double crochet in the chain space that connects them and then double crochet in the gap. Chain four, and then, you know, we're gonna work that till we get back to the end and I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm at the end, I'm gonna do this last space. If you get to the end, we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. But once you get to the end, if you, I want you to try it on after you do your first row. If it's too big, take it to loose and then chain three. If it's too small, try chaining five or six. But six is the most that I would chain for this portion. Okay, but once you get to the end, you can stop here and you can go into this last row which will be just single crocheting four in the gaps and one on top of each double crochet. Or you can just continue doing this till you have your desired amount of rows. So I did this for three rows and then I did my single crochet. So to go on to the next rows, you just want to single crochet here and then single crochet into that third chain that you did, chain one, and double crochet. Then you'll you'll repeat your pattern until you reach the end but that's how you do it to change rows but I'm gonna do my other two rows off camera and then I'm gonna come back to show you how to do this last part okay so now I just finished off my final row I'm going to do my chain four and slip stitch to that top where I just ended now I'm going to chain one I'm going to single crochet in that same space. I'm going to single crochet four in the gaps. Then single crochet on the tops of the double crochet. And you're just going to finish this. I continue repeating this until you reach the end. And this is just to give your project a nice little solid ending. You don't have to do this, but you can. I'm doing that because it's cute. So yeah. As you see, we have shorts. When I come back, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the top to close it off and then we'll be done. Y'all, I'm really loving this. I did my thing. Okay, so now we're gonna work this waistband. You can change colors if you want to and use like a white or like, if you did white for your petals, it'll be cute if you do white for this part, too. But I use this speckled color, and... Yeah, I don't really know how that's gonna pan out for my waistband, so I'm just gonna use pink again. This is a lot of pink. <laughs> what you wanna do is find whatever side you want to be your back. I'm already here, so this is gonna be my back. But your back and front should be identical, so it really doesn't matter. You're gonna find one of these stitches at the um very top you can go into whichever way you want to you're going to attach your yarn and then we're going to do our double crochet and what we'll do here is the exact same thing we did at the bottom i'm going to chain three double crochet in the corner space chain three 
double crochet in this connecting space chain three double crochet in the gap chain three double crochet in the gap and yeah, just repeat this until you get back to the starting point and I'll come back there okay so now that this is almost done I'm gonna do my last chain three and I am going to slip stitch to the top and I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna single crochet on the top I want to single crochet three in the gap I'm gonna single crochet on top of that double crochet I want to single crochet three in the gap and you're gonna do this all around and I'll meet you back at the end okay so now that I have this done I'm gonna slip stitch to that first single crochet that I did then we're gonna chain up two and you're gonna double crochet in the next space this first chain two will count as a double crochet we're gonna chain two skip two and then double crochet two and this will be so we have a place to put our drawstring so now we're gonna chain two skip two and double crochet two and you're gonna repeat this until you reach the end and I'll come back at that point to show you what to do from there okay so now I'm at the end I'm gonna do my last two double crochet to end I want to slip stitch to the top of that chain two and I want to chain one and for this row we're just gonna single crochet on the top of the double crochet and single crochet in the gaps and this will help us end off our piece nice and cute girl I'm messing up but yeah, this will help you give the this will help give you a cute little finish. And it looks nice and uniform. So that's the last thing you'll do. I'm gonna go to the end and come back and show you guys how to do the drawstring, I guess, if you need help with that. So to do the drawstring, make a slip knot and then I'm gonna chain up enough to go around my waist plus some because you want it to be able to tie. So I'm going to finish my chain, then I'm going to come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so now I have a, a tail. I don't know how many I was chaining because I was just working. But when you cut it off, you want to leave a decent bit of a tail. So the reason behind leaving a little bit of a tail is so if you want to do a tassel or anything, it'll fit in perfect and it'll be easy to tie it on. So right here, I'm just showing you how I begin to weave in my um drawstring into these gaps that we made it's very easy and simple to grasp so though if you need that in detail just reach out to me and i'll help you figure it out so y'all here's how the shorts look on me they're really cute i really love them but thanks for watching my video i love to see y'all creations and i'll be back next time